Good afternoon boys and girls, my name is Katril and today I'm going to show uh, you a review of the T-44 Russian uh, Tier 8 medium tank. Um, as you can see I got it here on my screen already. Uh, I don't have a exterior uh, camel paint on it but uh, if you think it's worth you can uh, of course do that. Um, this tank has uh, 1300 hit points, it weighs uh, almost uh, 34 tons and it has uh, 680 horsepower which gives uh, the T-44 a top speed of 51 kil kilometers per hour and the traverse speed is 44 uh, degrees per second uh, it has 90 millimeters on the front armor and uh, 120 on the front uh, for the turret. On the sides, it gives you 75 and 100 at the turret, uh, 45 on the back, and another 100 on the turret. Um, the gun fires almost 7 rounds per minute and uh, the turret turns really fast with uh, 48 degrees per second and the fuel range of this tank is almost 380 meters and the radio uh, works up till uh, 730 meters of course these numbers vary uh, are varying uh, because of your crew um, I run this tank with a gun rammer which uh, gives me 10% uh, less loading time of course the vertical stabilizer which gives me more accuracy and during uh, movement and turret rotation so shots on the move are uh, well what I've seen from this tank uh, are occurring very frequently and also to give it the extra edge uh, I've got the gun laying drive uh, mounted on the tank uh, an additional 10% to the aiming speed like I said the gun is pretty good uh, 100 meters, uh, millimeters of uh, caliber, almost 7 shots per minute, and average penetration of 175 millimeters. Uh, on tier 8, it's decent. Uh, you can mo pen most of the tanks in their sides or in their rear. Frontally, um, it's getting harder, but since you are a medium, you should outrun your uh, heavy uh, tanks and not face them frontally uh, because you are gonna lose that fight um, average damage is 250 each shot so 7 shots per minute will give you about uh, 1500 damage per minute so that's quite good uh, the aim time is 2.3 seconds and yeah this gun you need on the uh, T-54 as well for the crew I use six, X, uh, 6 cents on the commander and repair as first skill on the crew. Um, I am doing a test uh, to see what is Eagle Eye gonna do on a medium tank. If it's gonna work for me I will keep it. Otherwise I'm gonna change it to either repair or recon to increase my fuel range. Um, as a third skill I would recommend brother in arms the rest the gunner has snapshot additional uh, accuracy bonus the driver has smooth ride additional uh, accuracy on the move and the loader has a safe stowage um, of course it's a Russian tank so ammo rack explosions are well occasionally happening uh, it happened to me a couple of times and uh, I saw my turret uh, being flown off so that's why I'm running with safe stowage overall I think it's a good all-rounder um, you've got good speed good maneuverability and uh, with a decent gun as well uh, you will see that in the next match you are capable of doing a lot of damage and uh, Sometimes you can get uh, the better medals in this tank. Also, um, if you are in a tier 10 match, I think you are 
capable of doing the scouting work and do some damage as well. So uh, let's go to the match. Welcome back, uh, boys and girls. Um, here's one of the match. Uh, on my T44, I'm platooned up with the uh, IMS89. Um, she's my girlfriend, and most of you have seen her already on stream. Um, at this point, we are looking through uh, the team members. What are we going to face, and uh, where are we going to? Um, at this point, I said to IMS, uh, we're going north. We are making use of the... Uh, environment in the A3, A4 section and uh, so we are on our way uh, to that location um, during uh, the tour we uh, always try to get some additional information about the enemy team uh, we've noticed they have a really good KV-5 uh, a good RT player and a uh, decent uh, health cat uh, player um, those will be our biggest uh, threats um, of course uh, there is an ISU, T34 and all those other players which can do significant uh, damage to, uh, to us um, we are still on our way we are still making use of the terrain and try to stay uh, low behind the well slopes uh, you can say and uh, during this we've noticed that there was a T-34 on, uh, on his way up the ramp toward the uh, D5 location and there he is oops I moved too far back and there he is again and we managed to uh, put uh, two shots in in him and kill shot ah both too late as you can see uh, when we are driving in this ditch you have a very good uh, view what's going on on that uh, ramp over there in the D5 D4 D5 location and uh, luckily we didn't have any resistance uh, on this lo location as well so we uh, moved up a little further and there is the KV-5 and I managed to put one in him and another attempt and it didn't even hit him uh, after seeing this uh, battle a couple of times uh, I've noticed that he was in an angle where I never could have banned him uh, but during that time I tried to yeah, shoot him a couple of times of course uh, you may have noticed the 5916 moved up towards their uh, camping area and he spotted the RT and there we managed to kill their RT and already two of their best players are already out of the game during this uh, time uh, it was a bit slow so I'm gonna speed up a little moving back and forward trying to peek what's going to happen here nothing and there you see Ims trying to get up the hill and she asks my help Catherell Baker can you push me up so I'm pushing her up and there she gets almost almost up and there is the KV-5 again KV-5 puts one in her, receives one back, and I bounced. Trying to hit the engine deck, and I bounced again. Another shot, bounced on the side of his big turret. He's focusing on us. And one went in inside of the turret. And as you can see, uh, the uh, gun on the T44 reloads really fast. 7.4 seconds 
with the gun wrapper and uh, crew at 100%. At this point, I only did 280 damage. And I had so many shots on this uh, R2D2 uh, location, but I always, yeah, shot at the wrong side of the tank. Of course, that is one of his biggest weak weak spots where I should have aimed, and I pent him there right now. So one more, can we kill him? One in. One more please. And he's out. So all of the best players are already out of the game. And there's a Panther. Panther 2. One in him. Pick a little more. There he is. And again. He strikes him. Put as one is in him as well. Receive one shot, but luckily it bounced. One blind shot. And there we are again. One not additional blind shot, and now we have to be patient. Patient. Let's see what T seventy one is going to do, and he spots a T twenty nine. Imps put one in. I put one in, and he disappears again. But at the time he stood still and. Uh, by the looks of it, he's not a very good player, so he will be probably there. And stay there. And we managed to get the kill over there. There's the ice tree. We bounced. And Imps managed to get the kill. And there is the panther again. Going full speed towards us another one in and in shoots set him on fire and takes the second kill so we are really close for getting a brother in arms or in our case a lover in arms medal so two targets left last scene well on the hill at least for the ISU and so taking the low route and there we spot the ISU T71 puts one in and there he is I put in one in as well go around the target shoot him at the tracks so he stays still and at this point in shouted at me I want the kill, I want the kill, so I'm driving next to it and uh, Imps managed to get the kill and uh, so we get a lover in arms, the T71 <laughs> well he was a bit annoyed of course that I was driving in front of him so he shot at me as well um, let's go to the post game statistics 3, 2, 1 Welcome back guys, um, post game statistics, in the end we managed to get ace medal, um, sniper, lover in arms, or well brother in arms, but we call it lover in arms, and high caliber, in the end we did 3934 damage, as well as a 1944 assistant damage, and as you can see we hit a lot of targets, um, I ended up doing the most damage, also fairly good base experience, almost 1300. Imps didn't do as much as I did, but she performed well, considering we carried the rest of the team, of course. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully I see you guys later on.